born. August 16, 1958, Bay City, Michigan, USA. Birth name. Madonna Louise Ciccone. Nicknames. Nani Maddie Amo the Material Girl Magister M the Queen of Pop Dita Buzz Bum Lola Montez Queen of Reinvention Lil Booty Veronica Electronica Misses. Richie Dumbo Queen of Controversy High Priestess of Pop First Lady of Pop Madame X Emmy Kit, Moresby the Mouth. Height. 5 foot 3 1 half inch, 1 1.61 m. The remarkable, hyper-ambitious material girl who never stops reinventing herself. Madonna has sold over 300 million records and CDs to adoring fans worldwide. Her film career, however, is another story. Her performances have consistently drawn scathing or laughable reviews from film critics, and the films have usually had tepid, if any, success at the box office. Born Madonna Louise Ciccone in August 1958 in Bay City, Michigan, she moved to New York in 1978 and studied with renowned choreographer Alvin Ailey joined up with the Patrick Hernandez Review, formed a pop-slash-dance band called Breakfast Club and began working with then-boyfriend Stephen Bray on recording several disco-oriented songs. New York producer-slash-D.J. Mark Kamins passed her demo tapes to Sire Records in early 1982, and the rest is history. The 1980s was Madonna's boom decade, and she dominated the music charts with a succession of multimillion-selling albums and her musical and fashion influence on young women was felt around the globe. Madonna first appeared on screen in two low-budget films marketed to an adolescent audience, A Certain Sacrifice, 1979, and Vision Quest, 1985. However, she scored a minor cult hit with Desperately Seeking Susan, 1985, starring alongside spunky Rosanna Arquette. Madonna's next effort with then-husband Sean Penn, Shanghai Surprise, 1986, was savaged by critics, although the resilient star managed to somewhat improve her standing with her next two films, The Offbeat Who's That Girl, 1987, although she did receive decidedly mixed reviews, they weren't as negative as those of her previous effort, and the quirky Damon Runyon-inspired Bloodhounds of Broadway, 1989. The big-budget and star-filled Dick Tracy, 1990, had her playing bad girl, Breathless Mahoney, flirting with Warren Beatty, but the epic failed to catch fire at the box office. Taking an earthier role, Madonna was much more entertaining alongside Tom Hanks and Gina Davis in A Leak of Their Own, 1992, a story about female baseball players during W.W.2. However, she again drew the wrath of critics with the sexy whodunit body of evidence, 1992. Several other minor screen roles followed, then Madonna starred as Eva Perón in Evita, 1996 a fairly well-received screen adaptation of the hugely successful Broadway musical, for which she received a Golden Globe for Best Actress. The material girl stayed away from the movie cameras for several years, returning to co-star in the lukewarm romantic comedy The Next Best Thing, 2000, followed by The Painful Swept Away, 2002. If those films weren't bad enough, she was woefully miscast as a vampish fencing instructor in the James Bond adventure Die Another Day, 2002. After finally admitting that her acting days were over, Madonna began a directing career in 2008 with the barely-remembered Filth and Wisdom, 2008, and a year later she reunited with Madonna, Truth or Dare, 1991, director Alec Kashishian to develop a script about the relationship between the Duke of Windsor and the Duchess of Windsor that led to his abdication in 1936, the result, a movie named W.E., 2011 starring James Darcy and Andrea Riseborough as the infernal but still royal couple, was released in 2011 to lukewarm critics, but it gathered one Oscar nomination for costumes and won the Golden Globe for Best Original Song for Masterpiece. <laughs>2000-November to November 21, 2008, divorced, two children. Sean Penn, August 16, 1985, to September 14, 1989, divorced. Children. Rocco Ritchie. David Ritchie. Mercy James Ciccone. Stella Ciccone. Esther Ciccone. Lord Leon. Parents. Madonna Louise Fortin. Silvio Ciccone Relatives
Anthony Ciccone, sibling. Martin Ciccone, sibling. Paula Ciccone, sibling. Christopher Ciccone, sibling. Melanie Henry, sibling. Trademarks. Wore cone-shaped bras during her Express Yourself and Vogue performances. For each of her albums, she has a different look. Gap between her front teeth. Jean Harlow styled short, bleach blonde hair. Muscular and toned arms. Courting controversy. Facial mole above the upper right lip. Blue eyes and pale skin. Grills. Crucifixes as accessories. Has an exclusively minority troupe for every tour, so she's the only blonde on stage. Very competent personality. Muscular thick legs. Trivia. Was first introduced to her husband Guy Ritchie by Sting and Trudy Styler at their country estate. Trudy Styler and Sting were later made godparents of their firstborn son Rocco Ritchie. In October 2013, she received a lifetime ban from the Alamo Drafthouse Theater chain after texting incessantly during a screening of 12 Years a Slave, 2013. In 2017, delivery company FedEx refused to give Madonna her package for a week, believing she was an imposter. Was fired from her job as an elevator operator at Terrace on the Park for having sex with a waiter in the elevator. She only worked there two weeks. Her daughter Lourdes was named as a tribute to Madonna's mother, who wanted to visit Lourdes, France, where the Virgin Mary, the Madonna, appeared in 1858, but died before doing so. Had stated that Debbie Harry from Blondie and Chrissy Hind from The Pretenders were her main musical influences. One of the very few friends she has kept from the old days is her former makeup artist, Debbie Mazar, who is now an actress. Bugged her phone calls with Warren Beatty for inclusion in Madonna. Truth or Dare, 1991, but she had to edit them out of the final cut when Warren asked her to. Her song La Isla Bonita, 1986, was inspired by a visit she made to San Pedro, Ambergris K, Belize, with her then-husband Sean Penn. When the singer attempted to purchase a $1.2 million apartment at Manhattan's famous San Remo high-rise on Central Park West, the residence committee declined the singer's application. The media surmised that Madonna's celebrity pop status would have surely precipitated an endless draw for devoted fans and paparazzi, a predicament the residents were determined to avoid. Ultimately, Madonna moved into a nearby apartment at 1 West 64th Street, adjacent to the New York Society for Ethical Culture. Unanimously condemned by the Puerto Rican House of Representatives for pulling a Puerto Rican flag between her legs in an October 26, 1993 concert. Provided the idea of doing a parody of Like a Virgin for Weird Al, Like a Surgeon was her original idea. Madonna's friend who worked at Weird Al's record company passed the message. She studied dance with the legendary Martha Graham. On January 25, 1989, Madonna had a $5 million contract with Pepsi to promote their product as well as cross-promote her new album, Like a Prayer. However, on March 3, when the video for the first single, Like a Prayer, was released, it caused international controversy, with images of burning crosses, murder, and racism, and Pepsi soon retracted their contract, after March 2, when the two-minute commercial was only viewed once, during The Cosby Show, 1984. The single later soared to number one on the charts and stayed there for three weeks. She later thanked Pepsi for creating such controversy. She campaigned for the role of Frida Kahlo, as did Jennifer Lopez, and tried to get a film made for numerous years. She had hoped to actually star with Marlon Brando as Diego Rivera, but due to her lack of box office draw at the time, the film idea went nowhere. After Evita, 1996, she and Salma Hayek were both interested in films about the artist. Hayek's film won favor and was greenlit. In early 1962, Madonna's mother, pregnant with her sixth child, was diagnosed with breast cancer an apparent consequence of working as an x-ray technician before protective aprons were made mandatory. She delayed treatment until her baby was born on July 5, 1962, but by that time it was too late. A harrowing, year-long battle with the disease ensued. She lost her battle with cancer on December 1, 1963. In the Los Angeles Times, October 1994, 
when I'm hungry, I eat. When I'm thirsty, I drink. When I feel like saying something, I say it. Children always understand. They have open minds. They have built-in shit detectors. In Interview Magazine, June 1993, I think that everyone should get married at least once, so you can see what a silly, outdated institution it is. From her book, Sex, a lot of people are afraid to say what they want. That's why they don't get what they want. To David Letterman in March 1994, listen, all you do is talk about my sex life on your show, so now you don't want to talk about my sex life when I'm on your show? Salaries Evita, 1997, one million dollars. Body of Evidence, 1993, two million five hundred thousand dollars, plus percentage of gross and wardrobe. Dick Tracy, 1990, thirty-five thousand dollars. Shanghai Surprise, 1986, one million dollars. Desperately Seeking Susan, 1985, eighty thousand dollars. A Certain Sacrifice, 1985, one hundred dollars. <laughs>